welcome to uh, Krilles Garage. Today I'm gonna show you my prized possession and that is my, my tools. And I'm also gonna show you around my apartment because that's where I have them. There's no uh, female in the picture so no unnecessary rules here. I'll do as I please. This uh, video is perhaps for those who are really interested in tools. I will take my time and explain uh, things about uh, the different tools I have. And also, um, I can show you uh, some that I'm not pleased with. Most of my tools I'm very pleased with. Okay, let's begin. Here you can see what kind of weather we are having lately. It's been raining all day. And uh, some say it's because of the, uh, the heat wave down south in uh, Europe. But Be Bergen is famous for uh, rain and uh, I can't work on my car then. So uh, then it's toolbox too. And that was the door to my flat. Here on my right, I have my uh, Loctite and uh, some flux, flux for soldering, some brake uh, caliper grease and uh, yeah, that were recommended to me. But otherwise in this shelf it's not much interesting here. Just some uh, stuff for our, um, air pressure and uh, electrical stuff. And over here is my uh, self-made um, shelf. I just needed uh, a shelf in this size so I made one myself. Couldn't find anything that was uh, useful. So here I have all my stuff that takes up a little bit of place. But uh, I don't want it in my toolbox. It's like sandpaper, a drill, a saw and uh, protective clothing, car wash detailing stuff. And uh, it's also the background for my um, for my uh, videos. And I can show you first a drill of I bought that's quite uh, cheap. Here you can see a dirty drill that I'm uh, really fond of. It's lasted for six years now and it cost me 300 Norwegian krona. That's perhaps $35. I don't know. So it's a really cheap one and 850 watts, I think. Yeah, 850 watts. And it can really do heavy work. I tried it uh, in many challenging uh, situations. And my father's bush broke down, but this one has done a lot of tougher jobs than that. And it still hasn't broken down. So that's a good value for your money. And here is um, a saw that I used uh, for some uh, carpeting uh, projects. And otherwise, there I have a polisher for my car and some stuff for it. But the real interesting stuff is behind us. And I also have some uh, spray cans and oil and car polish stuff, waxes, all kind of things that one needs. And here is my toolbox. It's imported from uh, USA, a Husky brand, so it's a uh, Home Depot. I wouldn't give it a uh, full score because the bearings are uh, and the drawing drawers are not uh, perfect. But for an amateur like me, it's good enough. And on, on top here, I have all my uh, most of my electrical uh, battery driven uh, tools. First one 
It's a devolved impact. I'm really thinking about getting something that is not this loud because it's really loud. So the search of uh, Milwaukee that's uh, driven in uh, to have an oil impact mechanism. The second one is a small drill, or it's not small, but it's sm smaller than the fuel, because uh, I don't need uh, a really heavy, heavy duty drill. I'm only drilling into metal and uh, some light uh, carpenting uh, projects and, and stuff. But first I bought a DeWalt drill, but it was wobbling. So uh, I couldn't allow that. Then I needed to uh, to uh, give it back to the seller, return it, and then I went to a shop and bought it locally. And I made sure that it, it's true the the drill bit. I don't want a wobbling drill. That was not fun. The smallest impact I have is this uh, Ingersoll Rand 3.8 and uh, yeah I like it but uh, it needs some more uh, more torque so I'm gonna buy a bigger battery I actually bought it already so it's on, the, on its way from USA and then I got 200 newton meters more in, uh, in torque so that's uh, really useful and I, I guess I will feel the difference and here is my trusty half-inch impact, the DeVault uh, DF, DCF899 with 5 amp hour battery. And I also have a, a small screwdriver, it's semi-small, Milwaukee Fuel uh, screwdriver that uh, can do interior work and uh, take out screws. A little bit unnecessary, but uh, whatever. And I also have a 3.8 uh, ratchet from uh, Milwaukee, it's M12. I'm really happy with that one. And uh, on the side here you can see the chargers. I I haven't stick to just one company because yeah it's just been like that. I wanted the best uh, and the best impact was the Walt when it came out, and uh, the best uh, three eight was the Ingersoll Rand, so I needed that. And uh, yeah, I'm not pleased with the uh, the Walt. Um, little one here. I don't know what model it is. DCF 866. I'm not pleased with it. But then we can take a look at my first drawer. And it's it's nothing interesting here really. It's just some... Yeah, I have a di digital caliper. That's quite nice. And some uh, tools for uh, trim. Trim inside the car. And I also have this one. It's from OTC and it's uh, for taking out um, fuel, uh, some plugs when you are draining oil. It has a, a magnet, a very strong ma magnet. And here you can uh, Play, f first you loosen the sump plug, then you put this on and you take it out uh, the rest of your way. And you don't get oily on your hands. And also the digital caliper, I'm quite pleased with that one. Let's see here. It's very accurate, and first I bought a cheap one 
from uh, China but that didn't do me any good it was very unreliable so I bought uh, what kind of brand is it Vinen okay strange never heard about that brand before And I also have a depth to uh, depth measurement for uh, tires, a center punch, some fuel, uh, feeler uh, metal, and also uh, a helping hand on soldering. And here in the second uh, drawer, I have uh, all my. Uh, screwdrivers and uh, bit drivers I really like uh, yeah it's a bit filthy now but I really like that uh, Vera craft something it's called craft form it's called craft form and um, yeah the handle is excellent it's magnetic so it keeps the bit on, in place and uh, yeah, it's really useful. I also have the um, Vera with yellow handles. This is made with a striking cap on the end. As you can see, it's going through metal all the way through the handle. So you can strike it and uh, abuse it a little bit. But uh, I will be careful. And um, let's see here. Yeah, all the tips are uh, okay. None is broken yet, but I recently bought it. And here is some um, no brand. It's actually from um, a Swedish company called Biltema that's, that produces a lot of stuff. On, or They are buying from China a lot of stuff. Most of their stuff is from China. And it's similar to Harbor Freight, I guess, in the US or, yeah, a lot of companies now produce in China but I, I prefer Taiwan over China and some picks nothing special there and also I have um, small screwdrivers this is Biltema as well okay but not better than okay and here I have all my uh, pliers and as you can see Knipex, Knipex Cobra, Knipex uh, Branch, Knipex, uh, I don't, it's in Norwegian it's called Hovtang, I don't know the English well. And some side cutters, some uh, yeah, insulation removal tool from Mac. Yeah, Knipex side cutters and and WS. It's German, um, but I'm not sure if that's uh, as good good as quality as Knipex. And some side cutters as more. Here I have uh, a tube. Uh, you, you use it to pinch off a, a tube or a hose so that uh, let's say no brake fluid goes out or whatever liquid and a crescent wrench wrench this is bucko I have a no name uh, and a bucko as well bucko used to be Swedish but uh, they produce all over the world Spain Guess some in China. I don't value back Bucko that much actually. Knipex is the best you can get. This one you can uh, really you can stand on it. It's got that much gripping power. You can place it on a bar, then uh, have it 90 degrees out, or uh, yeah out on the side and then you can stand on it it's that strong 
and this one is this here is ideal for uh, aligning jobs or plumbing or big uh, big nuts and bolts and actually it's the mechanism makes it grip 10 times stronger than the force you apply on the handle and also a built I don't remember what this is called yeah it's made of built there beside the knipex between the two knipex I mean yeah the next uh, shelf the small ones here I have hardly something interesting just some uh, files and uh, a blade there for cutting metal and uh, some wood cutting blades and metal blades here is my bit set and it's served me well for many years standard made in China bit set but um, it's held up uh, pretty well I bought it for uh, 10 bucks no less than 10 bucks 16 Norwegian kroner that's uh, 8 bucks perhaps and here I have the DeVault um, I can show you DeVault bit set, impact bits they are supposed to last a long time I haven't done too much carpeting with my impact driver so um, I don't know too much about these I know the Makita ones I have are really good quality and here is uh, Milwaukee uh, drills drill bits it's good quality and it, it really bites the metal so I'm pleased with it it's the first Milwaukee buy I ever had and it's been more after that and here is the Makita impact these really take, the, take a punch you can have a lot of force on these also the torques they, uh, they managed to loosen some torques that normal bits would just break off and nothing interesting here I have a Christmas tree um, drill bits for making holes in projects and a small uh, precision um, precision set of uh, bits and a small screwdriver bit bit driver I mean Hyundai was actually not good quality at all I bought some of the tools and to give to my brother and uh, I had to return them then uh, Ryobi is much better in power tools and now we have come to the biggest drawer of them all the one that goes from the husky mark there and all across and here I have my my sockets here are my impact sockets and um, yeah let's see here I have my uh, uh, Allen socket also Umbraco I have some star uh, sockets and all the impacts are uh, Sunax I really like Sunax in quality they are made in Taiwan and uh, sold in USA but professional use them I, I think they have lifetime warranty and um, the fitment everything they are deep they go deep in so I like that I don't like uh, when it's narrow here not far enough so they are really good 3 8 and a uh, half inch uh, and some big half inch sockets and here is my chrome I have a gear wrench 3 8 and a half inch they are, um, they are adequate they are totally okay 
not had any issues with them. But uh, the one I use the most is the Mac. Let's see here. Here is Mac. Mac uh, Precision Torque. They can take off uh, rounded bolts and real tool re reviews. Uh, tried them out. He rounded out off a bolt, and they they did actually work. So um, I use my Mac Precision Torque uh, Chrome sockets, three eighths, and some torques. This this set here is bought from uh, Biltema, but it actually worked. Uh, so no need for uh, more expensive uh, stuff. And my Peugeot has a special star, uh, I, I don't remember what it's called, inverted torx, no, perhaps inverted torx, and um, yeah, I needed to buy them, they are cheap no name, made in China or Taiwan, I don't know. And here is my trusty breaker bar, as you can see there, it's held up, I had a three meter long exhaust pipe on it to get the right torque on a axle uh, bolt or hub bolt, I don't know what it's called and uh, it didn't bend, not anything, it's made from Biltena but that is really solid it's bulletproof, almost and then I have my ratchets I have actually uh, Here's Biltema, Biltema, and here is uh, gear wrench. This is made in gear wrench XP120, and it's actually a uh, quite interesting design they have there, and it holds up uh, really well. You would think that uh, they might not be as strong, but uh, yeah, I will do a stress test uh, some other day. And I also have one snap-on tools, tool I mean, uh, in my collection, and that is a snap-on 3 ratchet. And I don't use it much. I actually don't fancy it too much either. I really like my gear wrench. That's uh, my favorite. And here is my favorite uh, ratchet. As you can see here, or here, they're really fine tooth. Sorry about that, but uh, I guess you could hear it. It's uh, 60 tooth and then it's multiplied by two because they have two paws. So the paws are one, one are engaging and then the other one are engaging. So they are like walking the paws. And uh, that makes it 120 positions on one rotation. And then I have some gear wrench uh, extensions. Nothing special. I also have some, uh, it's a little bit dark here, but I also have some impact uh, extensions here. And a 3.8 uh, breaker bar that I haven't used that much. But uh, I might need it. It's built timer. And then it's uh, over to my um, my branches, and I'm really happy with uh, this set uh, here. It's from Right Tools USA. Turn it the right way. Right Tools, and it got some grip. So this is also tested by Real Tool uh, reviews, and it shared the head of the bolt. It didn't round off the bolt like the others. It shared a head off. And I think it was a grade 8 bolt, so it was first quality bolt. So that was what's happening yeah, when you are using this. And they are thick, so I have some tin also. But they are really sturdy and good quality, the right tools. I have not rega regre regretted uh, buying those. And I also have and turn it the other way. I have the Volt ratchet uh, wrenches, 
and these work uh, by a switch here you can flip the switch and they are lifetime uh, warranty and I didn't want to buy anything expensive I think they do uh, good enough and I also have some anti uh, anti-slip mechanism in the tooth or in their uh, open end and then I have some gear wrench ratchet wrenches and here I have some uh, skinny ones and also here I have um, some skinny ones these are the same as uh, budget and legit uh, showed in his video they are bought from uh, UK they are very skinny and useful when you need it okay and here are my uh, hammer and a breaker bar no, not breaker bar what's it called now again I, I have to think about it but there is a dead blow hammer two actually one is Mac that is Mac nothing special about it I recommend a trusty cook or something and then I have a proto anti vibe hammer and just some cheap uh, stuff and also I think this is Sealy, this brass hammer and you can feel, you can hear it there are metal pellets in, in the hammer I finally remember the, the name is pry bars so I have uh, Biltema as you can see on the handle it's Biltema they are good enough it's uh, metal they are not uh, banded or anything so uh, it's okay it's very cheap and this drawer here is the most expensive drawer in uh, my whole collection first I have a Fluke 88V a very good and dependable uh, multimeter I have some uh, needles some piercing probes I have fuse bodies for um, measuring current with a oscilloscope or a even multimeter and I have a cheap uh, soldering iron but it works okay and then in this bag I have my expensive scanner I'm gonna open it yeah here you can see my um, scanner it's Autel Muxisys or MS906 with uh, TS after 906 because it's a pressure uh, monitor TPMS tire pressure monitor system um, it can like communicate with that kind of system so it cost me uh, quite a lot actually I would say uh, 16,000 Norwegian Krona that's how much 2,000 bucks dollars I don't know and here is the Bluetooth it's wireless it's Bluetooth so I have the device for connecting to the UBD 2 port so yeah I also have a small device that I can use my phone to it's from uh, launch I car scan and uh, yeah I can't do what my auto can but uh, I'm gonna do a comparison someday and that uh, sometimes you can have a bit of difficulty getting the drawers in there it's bad uh, construction on the on the toolbox and here is just some uh, assorted uh, stuff some cable shoes Dremel uh, stuff 
and also screws and nuts and bolts and stuff. So nothing really interesting. And here is my uh, torque wrenches. And also behind here, this is for half inch half inch pipe bender. I had a project that uh, I needed it for. And uh, I'm gonna, perhaps in the future, I will bend some copper tubing for uh, the compressor uh, down, down in the um, storage area there. I have a compressor on the, the first floor and then on the second floor where I fix my cars I should have a, a tube up to there that will make uh, life easier for me and this is actually uh, bought from uh, another company that's rival to Biltema. This is from uh, Klaus Olsson. That's also Swedish. But um, yeah, it's good enough for me. It's a half an inch, so this is uh, the biggest torque wrench I have. It goes up to, let's see here, 210 newton meters, not too much. But um, it's good enough. Normally, you, uh, if you have uh, some kind of bolt, you have to perhaps up to 180 newton meters and then uh, 180 degrees. So you don't need normally anything st better than this, anything more powerful. And uh, this second one here from CDI, it's a Snap-on company. I'm actually very pleased with uh, the C C um, CDI torque wrench. It has a nice finish on it, and I, I don't like the head that much. I don't like the switch uh, lever here. It could have been better, but uh, it will do. And then a push button to remove uh, the sockets. And also, uh, this goes up to 100 newton meters. Okay, and a nice handle. Then I have a quarter inch, small one. This is also plus also. I'm gonna take it out. A really small, tiny for uh, small fasteners. Maybe um, if you're changing oil on a automatic uh, gearbox, you can use this for the, the sump on uh, the gearbox. And then we are at the lowest drawer. And uh, it's a little bit messy here. Here I have a bag that I use for um, carrying tools. It's just some no name. But what I have down here, I have a, I can take it out. Makita Angle Grinder. And uh, it's 1400 watts, so it's really powerful. I don't know how many horsepower that, that is. But this one you can adjust from uh, 2800 rotations to 11,000. So if you are a little bit afraid of uh, 11, 12,000 as the, they normally are, you can uh, change it. So you can have uh, remove rust quite easily without being afraid of uh, it spinning too fast and being too powerful. But actually, the thing is, even at low rotations, it won't stop because it's 1400 watts. It's you use. Um, you have to use a lot of power to make it stop. I wouldn't try that. 
so it would go around it it's just I think it's more turkey at lower speeds this one is more turkey at lower speeds and then we are down at, at uh, the side here a couple of uh, drawers here nothing special here here I have my line branches they are SK they are USA made nothing special here yeah I can show there are something special here actually here I have my uh, tread uh, repair, not tread repair, but tread, treading tools it's made from Biltema, but it's all right, it's served me good uh, already once but it's quite new so uh, I did have some issues with uh, a bolt on a seat when fastening the seat to uh, to the floor of the car and I had to retread it and it helped and here are some forks for uh, removing uh, ball joints or yeah forks at least king bolts so yeah and also for marking stuff a broader p-touch nothing special here some cheap uh, drill bits some uh, what do you call this let's see rivets Riv rivets it's uh, I used them when I was uh, changing the window regulator on my Peugeot it was broken the wire was bro broken so um, then I used those rivets nothing special here and the last one here I have my gloves they're actually quite nice it's a tsunami grip bought it from eBay and they have also as you can see they have protection on the the upper side also most gloves with rubber on them they are having ventilation on the top and that's no good when you're getting a lot of oil on you and uh, nothing special here some uh, chemicals and also this is Kamasa tools uh, I really like the quality it's it wasn't expensive but this is a half inch set and the fit on, and finish on uh, the pipe the pipes are really good so this is uh, a gift I got from my mother for a Christmas present and I've used it a lot but it doesn't look used though I forgot to show you one tool it was in the lowest drawer and this is uh, an Ingersoll Rand narrow impact but I was a little bit disappointed in uh, in this impact because it's it's not strong enough for uh, a rusty bolt so uh, I don't have many disappointments or regrets when it comes to my tools or uh, tool chest but this one I might sell it on eBay I don't know or just keep it we'll see and here in the corner I have even more stuff I needed uh, a chest uh, to uh, chest of drawers to uh, to get some stuff out of my uh, toolbox so I can take a little peek here at the top it's not made for tools though so you can see it has a mirror but here is uh, the Chinese uh, caliper 
some uh, knives and nothing interesting a Casio um, calculator some rulers and here on the first uh, drawer it's nothing special I have a uh, it's for cleaning the poles on a battery I have that cross there as you, you can see and some hose clamps bits a small uh, this here is a small uh, weight and here is just a lot of different textile tape or duct tape aluminium foil tape stuff well here I have it doesn't look so interesting but I do have some stuff here here is a battery tester you can you can get the information how many cold cranking amps the, the battery has and if the charging system is working as it should I have my first scanner the scanner I showed you I've only owned it for uh, two months and I had uh, the plain uh, MS906 before that for one year but I used to use this one and it's no good at all it is not used useful for anything and I also have a pirated uh, uh, scanner for Peugeot I haven't tried it uh, bought it out of desperation but I tried uh, the pirated uh, Delphi scanner and it was not uh, working so that was just wasting money and here I have my uh, this makes a uh, any Android device or uh, I think it's uh, Apple device also it makes it like a scanner and it's launch tech I cash I car scan it's from launch the famous brand uh, from China and hotel is also from China and uh, and so on here I have some pneumatic stuff This one here is actually for soda blasting. So you can soda blast the paint off without removing anything of metal. You can also use it for sandblasting. It's made in Denmark, I think. So it's patented. It's, it's the, uh, written Nord Blast. So soda blasting. I was thinking about removing some paint on uh, aluminium wheels. So, uh, but those wheels were just too gone. I bought a new set of wheels for my mother. And I have some anti um, seize from Loctite. Some silicone paste that's uh, necessary for not when uh, there is rubber involved. Like gliding pins on a brake job and some uh, liquid tape I also have for uh, repairing I've used this already and it worked and here is uh, a filler for uh, wheels with a gauge on it nothing special and the last drawer with something um, interesting in is this one I can show first the oscilloscope I have this is one giga sample oscilloscope or at least they say so um, the program that follows it is not as good as picoscope but this one is uh, much more affordable than a picoscope so this is the top uh, hand tech uh, oscilloscope a little bit dirty but um, I like it it can help me diagnose uh, a lot of stuff in the future. I bought it this summer. And here is a project I had. 
It's actually a, a building set that you can buy for. Um, it's a signal gen function generator. It sends out signal that uh, the oscilloscope can. Um, you can watch it on an oscilloscope. So it's just a fun project. I was into electronics a little bit for a while around Christmas and I made this one. It's my first uh, proper soldering uh, job and it worked with no flows. So um, that was not so bad. It was quite tiny as you can see. And I have some fluke uh, leads. A lot of leads in here and uh, wires and stuff. Not very nicely done for oscilloscope. And I have another oscilloscope. This is actually a Pico, but I, I, I like the Huntec better because this is just a cheap uh, Pico. It cost me um, 1700 Norwegian kroner. That's around uh, 220 bucks, perhaps, if I guess. It's very, uh, it's not good. It's too coarse, the, the um, graphing is too coarse. It's like steps instead of a nice graph. And also, if you want a really good value multimeter, you can buy this Unity 61, 61E. And it's the most accurate in this price range. It's a really good buy, but I uh, got a fluke, so uh, I don't use this anymore. But as a good uh, device, I would uh, recommend this. It's not expensive, it's 50 bucks, perhaps. Here you can see uh, two options for a smoke machine. One is uh, cheap. Uh, almost homemade from uh, eBay. It's called Smoke Break. And it's just a milk uh, container with milk jar in metal with a heating element and uh, you add uh, the compressor to it. But when I got it I second guessed it so uh, yeah it's not gonna be used. So a so, short time uh, later, I bought the uh, Outool uh, STT206 from AliExpress. It cost me 300 bucks. And uh, I've been really happy with it. It's easy to use. You can refill it on the top. There is a cap there. And also they have uh, this cone that you use to plug in, let's say, uh, exhaust pipe, air inlet. You can use this rubber uh, cone. And also they got some plugs that you can plug in uh, any opening you might have from the smallest to the biggest. I guess it's more than 20 plugs there. A lot of plugs. So for $300, I think it's the best buy you can get, if it uh, lasts. But I, I uh, used it to di diagnose a vacuum leak on my mother's car. And uh, it did find it quite uh, fast actually. And you have a pressure gauge on it, and also a ball that uh, is floating when uh, air is circulating. So if you have no leak, the ball should be uh, down. If you have a uh, small, you can see how big the leak is by uh, these limes over here. I'm not sure if this ball is 100% accurate, but uh, also you can adjust it. And the thing with both of uh, these devices is that they are working on the um, car battery. So it's very easy to use. You just plug it in the, on the battery and then it's ready to use. And you can see when it's producing smoke. So the Outool 
It's the cheapest you can get. Normally you pay six, seven hundred dollars for a smoke machine. But that's not necessary in my opinion. Here is my uh, wheel bearing removal toolkit from Nielsen. And uh, it has yet to prove itself. You can see on the picture there, I can open it. Lots of different sizes. And you have a big bolt that hopefully will uh, last. And also a big nut for di different uh, cups to press the bearing into. And uh, different sizes here, yeah, plenty of them for every need you might have. I hope this is made of quality metal. I, I'm not sure yet. It was cheap on eBay. So you never know. I have a um, Milwaukee 12 volt uh, vacuum that I use for my car. If it's not necessary to vacuum it really properly, then I use my uh, household uh, vacuum. It, it's okay. It could be a little bit more effective. My household vacuum uh, is in another class. But um, for small projects like you're getting sawdust on the floor, it picks it up quite easily. But if you want to properly clean your car, you might uh, get a proper vacuum for it. And the last thing I want to show you is this Olsung uh, glow plug uh, analyzer. Connect it to the battery and then you test if uh, the glow plugs are okay. I do have an error code on my car, so I know that uh, I might need to change them out. So, um, but my car starts just fine, so uh, I will do that in the autumn, I guess. There are more important things to do before changing my glow plugs. Here you can see it's uh, short circuit, open circuit, how many amps it does uh, draw or if you have a low battery. And the price was under uh, 350 Norwegian Krona, which is um, how much you can uh, get in without paying tax. So it's a really cheap device from uh, China. Yeah, now you've seen my tools. I hope it was uh, interesting. And I, uh, yeah, I've been collecting for uh, three years, I guess. So there's been uh, three very expensive years. I bought the tool chest uh, two years ago. Imported it from the USA and uh, the shipment was uh, just as expensive as the box itself. But now it's here and it's much better than buying Snap-on or Mac or the very expensive brands. It cost me like 12,000 Norwegian kroner. That's around um, 1800 bucks perhaps. I'm just guessing, I'm not too good in um, cal calculating in my, my head. But yeah, 12,000 12, Norwegian kroner was the price. And the scanner is expensive, it's really expensive. But if you're gonna buy Snap-on, you're gonna pay 100,000 Norwegian kroner instead. So that's much worse. <laughs> So uh, I need a good scanner, it's bi-directional, I can do anything except uh, flashing the ECU or the main uh, computer. That's the only thing you, you can't do. And that's way too expensive to buy subscription for that anyway. Not needed for me. So I figured that 906TS, that was the ideal uh, scanner for me. Tool is a big interest of mine and it's only grown bigger and I watch a lot of tool stuff on related on YouTube and I love uh, getting new ideas to to what might make uh, jobs easier but that's all it's about it's about making jobs easier 
and um, the tool tools they help uh, help me with uh, doing the right job and sometimes or often you need specialty tools let's say uh, you are doing a timing belt then you need some timing uh, tools to make everything that uh, top center and uh, the right way and also uh, I'm gonna show uh, another break uh, video I bought some uh, Motec uh, pressure bleeder so that's fail safe because the first time I um, went to the brakes on my friend's car there was some air in the system so it wasn't it wasn't so uh, so lucky there it's the first and the last time I'm gonna have air in the system. I've done it on uh, my mother's RD and many other cars and they've all been fine but once is uh, more than uh, enough. So I bought a proper pressure bleeder that adds, adds pressure on the system and no air can come in. I'm gonna show that in a, in a later video. And I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, my toolbox tour. And I'm gonna update with uh, more info on uh, new stuff I buy when I bought, uh, let's say, four or five tools I can show them off. And uh, yeah, there will be more updates because uh, tools are fun and uh, tools are necessary and tools make the job easier. Thank you and uh, please subscribe and, um, and follow me as the journey unfolds.